But I also, as a radio guy, think a lot about Rush Limbaugh and then Hannity and those who came after him. Michael Savage, remember that guy? What are your thoughts oh, on the 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 rise and roll of, of right wing media? We'll never have a fairness doctrine, I realize, but it's not nearly as pervasive, although that's changing in places like like Canada uh, and, and other places, uh, right. even the UK, where Murdoch well, Canada has regulated broadcasting and the UK still does. What happened in the United States was that AM radio stations started to not be very valuable anymore. As music and entertainment and audience moved to FM, AM radio stations started to lose audience share right. and lose their value. And big corporations owned a lot of AM radio stations. Well, what could you do? What format could you program cheaply, syndicate easily, and didn't need the exacting reproduction standards of music stations. You know, well, there's a difference. When you listened to a prog rock album on a on a really good FM radio station, it just wasn't going to sound the same on an AM radio. <laughs> but hey, somebody on the telephone uh, yelling about commies and fluoride in the water, uh, that didn't have to sound very good. And Rush Limbaugh and many others pioneered networking, syndicating those programs very successfully at a time when America was kind of at an inflection point and simplifying, flattening the complex issues we faced as a country was catnip for millions of Americans who felt that the country was changing in ways that they weren't comfortable with, um, that were rising personalities in politics and entertainment that they weren't comfortable with and they didn't see themselves in. And this was an alternate universe, a comfy home that they could retreat to and be reassured that they were the ones who were being screwed and alienated and boxed out of success in this country. It was a, a terrible thing that happened, but it was an interesting confluence of the business because the business made this possible, not e economic trends or, or right, uh, right. technological trends. The business made it possible. The politics of the day made it possible. And technology made it possible as networking, a, a yacker out of Los Angeles and another one out of New York and another one out of San Francisco and another one out of Florida got easier and easier and cheaper and cheaper. So you built the... Uh, you know, excellence in broadcasting, the EIB network for Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. And he was eventually carried on 500 stations across the country. 